of our country's most patriotic holiday, we're going to be talking about our country's most patriotic dad, Stan Smith. If you're not familiar with the Seth MacFarlane show, American Dad, it follows the adventures of husband, father, Republican, and CIA agent, Stan. Along with his wife, Francine, his daughter, Haley, son, Steve, alien, Roger, and anthropomorphic pet goldfish, Klaus. In Stan's eyes, he is living the perfect American life. That is, until the rapture arrives in Season 6 and the world is flung into a post-apocalyptic wasteland. But everything seems to go back to normal after that. Unless... Every episode after the rapture just Stan's own personal version of heaven? This Christmas special sparked quite the controversy amongst American Dad fans. In the episode Rapture is to Light, the rapture occurs obviously, leaving Stan and his wife behind on Earth. However, at the end of the episode, Stan takes a bullet for Jesus. When he arrives in heaven, Michelle tells him that it's his own personal version of heaven and that he can make it whatever he desires. So, Stan makes it as though the rapture never happened. And the episode essentially ends where it started, with Stan walking into his home, just like normal. Just one thing is different. Klaus is dead and is mounted on the wall. So the conspiracy states that every episode of American Dad that follows this one takes place in Stan's own personal version of heaven. Meaning, the rest of the world is still stuck in a post-apocalyptic war. And apparently, this conspiracy was also brought up in the DVD commentary by showrunners. Their reason for this being that Haley is accepted into heaven even though she is proclaimed to be an atheist in several episodes. So could American Dad showrunners be trying to tell us something? Could the rest of American Dad take place in Stan's own personal version of heaven while the rest of the world is left to perish? It's pretty hard to consider the continuity of any Seth MacFarlane show, but since this conspiracy is riding on it, then we must. Well, first of all, why is Klaus a mantelpiece in Rapture's Delight only to return in the episode that immediately follows this one? Especially since Klaus notoriously annoys Stan, why would he be alive in his own heaven? And unfortunately, there are a couple more things that put a damper on this theory. Take, for example, the episode where Stan dies in a hot tub, even though he returns in the following episode. But nonetheless, I'm pretty sure you can't die in heaven. Also, Stan is constantly embarrassing himself. Like that time he got caught pooping in a pool or getting beat up by his childhood bully. Stan's life doesn't seem to improve much after he supposedly reaches heaven. And if it really was his own personal version of heaven, why would these crappy things keep on happening to him? Of course, it could be that this theory is false. But you could also think about it this way. Stan has sort of a patriotic satisfaction when he overcomes challenges. So then it would make sense for him to make up all of these trying situations where he could come out on top as a hero for his family and the rest of his country. And if he made everything perfect and safe for him and his family, wouldn't his heaven get a little boring? Of course, that is only one way to look at this. And there is still quite a lot stacked against this theory. So on the plausibility meter, I'm going to give the American Dad Conspiracy two American flags out of five. If you have a suggestion for a conspiracy you'd like us to cover, let us know in the comments or send us an email. Check out that preview for next week's episode and catch up on any episodes you might have missed. And I'll see you guys next week.